What's up, everyone? We are back again for some money saving uh, techniques. What I've got here is a whole inside round or top round. It cost me about 288 a pound. This is about 25 pounds. We're gonna break this into a few different things. Um, it's pretty easy, so let's get started. So first and foremost, you wanna get off some of this excess fat. Um, use a thin, long knife. You can use a boning knife, fillet knife, and um, like a scimitar. I like, this is kind of in the middle. I like it. I watch a lot of videos with people cutting these suckers up and nobody saves the fat. But we're gonna save the fat because we are going to render it down into some beef tallow to use for cooking later. So to clean off this fat, you just slide the knife right under the skin. You really don't want to get any red on there. Red is green is what they say. Red is green. You can feel around, there's some thick spots. There is a cap on here. I've been contemplating on whether I want to take it off or not. I think we may take it off. We'll see. You can feel where the fat's really hard. That means it's thick. So you don't have to be, you don't have to go so shallow. You got some room. So there is a little bit of red on there, but I'll actually clean that up before I render it all out. The bottom has some more little chunks, kind of like isolated areas, but there is a there is some fat and silver skin that needs to be taken care of. And silver skin you can't do anything with. But the fat, you can make into some delicious tallow, beef tallow. Clean that up. You can carve some of that, or cut some of that stuff up into like a stew meat. Uh, if you have a grinder, you can make ground beef out of it. These little tight spots are where like a boning knife or a Fillet type knife could come in handy, but it's all right. All right, so that's about as cleaned up as we're gonna do it. So, now so not a not a lot of waste. So now you've gotten everything off. What exactly is the silver skin, bro? You can't ask me questions without me being prepared to answer them. Be prepared at all times. I mean, it's like a sinew. I don't know technically what the silver skin is.
a good question. All right, so I'm gonna cut this straight down here. And that's like a roast. I tie it up and roast it up. So these are good for broiling. I like it fast and hot. You can dry season them. You can marinate them. A lot of people like to take this cap off. I like to leave it on. I think I was contemplating on what I wanted to do. Uh, I like a little bit of fat left on mine. A lot of people clean them up completely. Um, it's not really my thing. Cook a medium, medium rare. I'm medium rare or less, personally. Uh, but they do really, really, really well uh, marinated. They are a tougher cut of meat. So you have to treat it accordingly. You could also braise them, you know, one this thick. You know, you may want to like do a slow braise. But I like them thick. So that's them. Got a roast, some London broils, whoa. And then uh, we'll chop this stuff up for like a stew meat of braising, and then this fat will render down uh, to make some tallow. All right, see you next time. Cleaning up the fat, getting all the red off. That's all that I'm throwing away out of that 25 pound uh, roast inside, inside round.
25 pounds, that's it. I'm gonna make uh, beef tallow out of that. I did a bunch of stew meat, a bunch of London broils, which I can, you know, turn into stir fry or whatever the hell down the road as well. But that's just how I cut them to, to package them. And that's the tallow after it's been cooled down. Probably got about a cup, maybe a cup and a half.